So today we're going to be trying these Rafael Gonzalez Habanos. The Panatella is extra. These are 127 or 5 inch by 37 ring gauge. 25 up in a box as you see here. Imported by the IEPT, which is the Importadora y Exportadora de Poros y Tabacos. This is the exclusive importer of Habanos in Mexico. Their QR codes here, there's two different ones. They just take you to their website. They don't authenticate them. This, you can use the original guarantee label here from Cuba. And if you enter this into the Habanos website, you will get back this, which tells us that they are original de Habanos. It gives you their HSA number, which is their control number, as well as a description, the Rafael Gonzalez Panatelas Extra, with this code. So the code is CB, which stands for the current box. UW stands for the inside dressing of the box, which is unvarnished wood. CL stands for lamina de cedro, which tells us that there should be a cedar divider in between the two layers. 12 and 13 tells us that the bottom layer will be 12 cigars, the top layer will be 13 cigars. The next, the N stands for ninguno, which means that the cigars are just plain up in the box. And the last number, 25, is of course 25 up in the box. So, let us cut into this and we'll take a look. Well, actually, let's look at the cover of the box first. Unfortunately, in Mexico, this is what happens now. The entire half of the box is covered with a warning label. One of the sides is covered. And of course, the entire back is covered in a warning label. So in order to make up for this, they add this in the front now which gives us the, the year that this was boxed. So, October 2023, so October 2023. So, so in order to open these, there it is. The warranty seal, the IEPT seal you need to cut through, the Habanos seal you need to cut through, and there is also a little brad to remove. So taking a look inside. Original bonus guarantee. Nicely presented the Rafael Gonzalez Habana Cuba. And as you can see here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, so 13 on the top, 12 on the bottom. And these are the Panatella Extra Size. The Vitola of Rafael Gonzalez includes the Panatellas Extras that you see here. The Petite Coronas, which are 129 millimeter or 5 and an eighth inch by 42 ring gauge. They also have the Coronas de Lonsdales, which are a pretty popular one from the ones I've seen which is a 127 millimeter, mil, millimeter, five inches by a 48 ring gauge, and the Perlas, which are a 102 millimeter, a four inch by 40 ring gauge. Very nicely constructed, beautiful wrapper. Fairly plain band. And according to the Habanos website, Rafael Gonzalez, the tolos are made totalmente a mano con tripa larga, which means totally handmade with long fillers. So, first impressions on this Rafael Gonzalez Panatella Extra. Nice smoke. So far, I first third in was easy draw on this. The construction is very nice. It's a little bit of an uneven burn at first, but now it's evened out quite nicely. And I'm tasting notes according to Cigar Aficionado. 
There's a bit of creaminess on the palate with a good nutty quality, but it has a short finish. I'd agree with all of those. It's definitely a nice creamy, nutty flavored so far. And the finish is quick, but pleasant. So let's move on to the next third, and I'll be right back. So just about halfway through now, the tasty notes remain the same. Just a very pleasant, mild smoke. It's very windy here this morning, so I've lost the ash actually twice <laughs> so far. But it's been a very pleasant smoke. It's kind of cigar that you could... If you were smoking it, I don't think anyone would realize that you're smoking a Cuban. Also, the kind of cigar that you could give to someone who's never had a cigar before, someone that wants to start their Cuban cigar experience. It's just a very nice, pleasant smoke. A good amount of smoke, too. So just starting into the last third. And the flavor has really developed nicely now from the halfway mark to where I am right now. Definitely a, a lot, lot more on the finish now. A lot more peppery, nutty flavor on the finish. That's where I would say the first half really was, dare I say, uninspired. It was just a light smoke. Nothing that was memorable, <laughs> really. But now it's developed quite nicely. Good amount of uh, smoke produced by this size as well. And the room note is nice. You're not going to overwhelm anyone smoking this cigar. Very pleasant though. Very pleasant now. I'm quite pleased at this point in, on the cigar. To give you an idea, this box ran a mil dos y medio, to be precise. So around $251 for a box of 25 around $10 a stick. You're not going to find many handmade Cuban cigars for that price nowadays. You know what sticks going for in the hundreds plus range now. So do I recommend these? Yes, especially with the morning coffee. Very pleasant. Uh, also, I picked this box up at the Casa del Abano in Puerto Vallarta. This video isn't sponsored by them, but I do recommend them. They were excellent from start to finish. I had my order within a week here, shipping in Mexico, and that price included shipping. So definitely check them out if you're in Puerto Vallarta. And definitely check these Rafael Gonzalez Panatellas Extra. Cheers, everyone. Enjoy. Ciao.